Uh, I just got this smoker completed and I was going to post it and see what you guys thought. I'll show you some of the features and what's going on. Um, I started out down here, stainless steel, top. These are flexible stoppers so I can fold them up out of the way. And then I have steam table pans that are active drawers. There's runners under here. They slide up under there. See the runners? They slide right in. And then this rubber stopper comes down so you can travel with it. Uh, wood storage area. Same thing over here, just running the other way. Steam table pan. You can take them out and serve on, out of them or use them. As, you know, and we can go deep. Every pan is interchangeable. Any pan will work. Um, this flooring down here is old Walmart shelving that I got given to me. So that's pretty awesome, heavy stuff. Here's the main body of the smoker. Main body of the smoker. Uh, these are Destego clamps. Destego, whatever they're called. Some of you guys have probably seen them. Okay, stainless steel handle. The main compartment of the smoker. Removable racks. If I can take that out and flip it if I need to. This part's pretty sweet. This is a water tank for steam to come out through that top area. Here's an outside fill yeah, that I added right here. Outside fill. The bean plate. Um, also have a pin system right here where it controls a damper on the inside. So if you come around I don't know if you can see it, but I can move this and then the damper up top controls how much how much smoke I can let in or out. Mostly I just use it to hold it shut whenever we open it up and base things, stuff like that. Back here's 3 8 firebox. It's a re-rod floor on it. I just went with three hole system here. Usually run it about one half hole. Okay. I think this is a little better system just because you can tell other people, hey, if I'm leaving my smoker, I'll be able to tell them, hey, about half hole is where we want it. I don't really like those Weber looking ones that are winged. They're not quite as precise, I don't think. So I like this system. I got a support leg right here. Just in case, drop this down, put the pin in, then I can level it off with my jack. This makes it very, very stable. Same thing up here in the storage position for it to go down the road. Back here we have a 30 by 60 flat top grill. Pull the pins, open it up, and then you can pin them right here. As you can see, it also works as an area to store my charcoal or some other things. It's kind of dirty storage, but it works as storage. It's expanded metal top. This whole drawer has a pin system right here. You pull the pin out, and then this whole drawer the whole drawer will pull out right here, and then I can dump my charcoal. Okay, so that's how that works. Pull these pins, drop it down. Works as a nice, just a nice cook surface too, or a flat top work surface also. Use it to put a cutting board up here. Uh, LED lights, fenders from Redneck Trailer Supply in Iowa. Uh, 15 inch tires, 2,000 pound axle, leaf sprung. I named my smoker Mr. Bojangles. My barbecue name, team name is. Bojangles Barbecue. That's cut out of quarter inch stainless steel. The guy up in Minnesota, I think, did that for me pretty reasonably. Uh, Yeti Cooler. They're obviously pretty sweet Yetis. Got this one online or off of eBay. Um, they're just unbelievable Yeti coolers. Made in Texas, I think.
Got it tied down with ratchet straps front and back. Welded on loops to take care of that. This is to hold my flagpole. I got a 20 foot flagpole. Fits on there. Two inch hitch, safety chains. Um, right here I got a spot for my thermometer. My I don't have a wireless, so it's a wired thermometer. I bring it out. You can put my thermometer right there. Um, just a stack deal with my initials on it. And that's about it.